um, the uh, my lieutenant governor that I got to choose is from Trinidad. So the first thing I walked in, the, you had Trini was Trini music uh, from Trinidad. If you're uh, if you grew up in Trinidad, you're a Trini. And uh, so the, your your lieutenant governor governor is from Trinidad. So uh, the music, the drums downstairs were really neat. The jazz was great, uh, and I had two great. Uh, tour guide today, uh, Norma and uh, Tyler uh, did a great job of uh, giving me a tour of the school, and it was fun uh, talking to each of the students. Uh, your AVID program looks like an impressive program. Uh, everybody's going to do a lot better in school than I probably did. Uh, they, uh, they're all going to, they all want to go to great colleges and, uh, and do something uh, very significant with their lives. So, so congratulations. Well, to, uh, today we're, uh, we're doing a, a ceremonial bill signing of the budget. The, uh, the budget this year is a little over $70 billion. Uh, the, uh, the legislators you have up here, Representative Sean Harrison, uh, Representative Ed Hooper, uh, Representative Jeff Brandis, Representative Larry Ahern, and Representative Danny Young all had a very big impact. And I'm going to talk a little bit about how something becomes a, uh, a law and how you do things like pass a budget in a second. But, you know, this, this budget, uh, everybody in the state should feel good about. Uh, the, uh, as you know, if um, all of your uh, parents, and you pay, if you buy anything, you pay taxes. Your state budget, you have state uh, taxes and you have local taxes. And Mayor Buckhorn's here, and he, has, he, he deals with the exact same issue, but different tax, uh, tax base. Uh, and, um, but in the, at the state level, you and your parents, you pay taxes. If you buy something, you pay sales taxes. If you own a house, uh, you pay property taxes, and that funds things. Uh, it funds education. It funds uh, if you uh, health care for those that can't afford health care. It funds uh, law enforcement, things like that. And so it's never easy to figure out how you should spend your money. So if you had to decide, if you were the governor and you had to decide uh, how you, you're going to allocate all those dollars, it wouldn't be easy, right? Well, what happens is I propose a budget, and these members of the legislature, they get to actually do a budget. Uh, they get to decide what the budget is, and the only choice I have, I can either say yes or no. If I say no, then they go back and do another budget. If I say yes, I get to look at every line and decide if I like those line items or don't like those line items. Uh, now, if I, if I agree, them, agree with those, those that work to get it in there are really happy with it. If I, don't agree, if I don't put it in there, those that got it in there are not so happy. Uh, so I got to do that yesterday. So I have a lot more friends and a lot more people a little bit disappointed in me as of today. Uh, because I, I had a choice of, uh, of, cer of certain line items. So, uh, the, but, so we have a budget, we're going to do a ceremonial bill signing, but before that there was a, a student in, uh, uh, in the state that put together this for the, uh, uh, for the uh, Senate uh, on how, how something becomes a law. So has, any, has anybody ever proposed a, a law before? Do you guys have rules here at school? Yeah. Yeah. Do you get to participate in the rules? <laughs> so, well, you know, the, the way you do it at the state level is somebody comes up with an idea. So if you come up with an idea, I can't propose a law. As your governor, I can't propose a law. The individuals up here, if you have an idea, like if you want to say that, so what would be something that you would like to change, you know, what would you like a law to be? What would be an example in your school? Yes, sir. Okay. Let's say that, that you want a law that says that all the candy in the state is free. Okay. <laughs> So that would, how many people would vote for that? Anybody? Okay. So, so what's another law somebody might like? Yes. Free money. Free money? Okay. Free money. So you have to figure out who's going to give it to you, right? Okay. But that, that would be, how many people would vote for some free money? So, so if you want free candy or free money, these are the individuals you get to talk about. I don't have any control over free candy or free money. But, if, but yes, do you have one? Uh, like better food for food. Yeah, better food for the school. Okay. Anybody like that? I will at the uh, at the last school I visited we talked about it and one of the things that proposed was Taco Tuesdays. Uh, so so how many people go for a Taco Tuesday? Okay, that'd be something hot. How about how about every meal you have to eat like uh, uh, helping a broccoli. 
that might be a harder one to pass, right? Okay. So, so here's what you do. You go, whatever you bill is, let's start with Okandi, you go to uh, one of your, uh, they're, they're here locally, so you can call them. <laughs> You'll go and say, I want free candy in my school every day I'm in school, okay? All right, so they'll go and they'll say, oh gosh, can I do they'll, they'll say, is it good for the citizens, whatever I, they represent? Because they, they represent a, a group of individuals. I'm responsible for 19 million people in the state. So they, they pick their area and they say, I think it's a good bill for this state. So let's say, let's take the candy example. So they'll say, they'll introduce it, and there's, you know, there's, there's how many, so you know that there's House representatives, there's 40 members, and that's a bigger group of people they rep each represent. And they're just, then you have 120 state representatives, and they represent a little bit smaller group of people. Okay? And the, and the, and the reps are how many? Four? How many people are in 157,000? So, so if you're a state representative, there's 120, and they represent about 150,000 people. The two football stadiums full of people, right? And then if you rep if you rep a senator, it's a bigger area, so maybe like uh, uh, five or six football fields full of, of, uh, of people. All right. So so you go to the house or the senate and you say, I want this bill. Okay. So you go up and you say, Gosh, I want this bill. And he says, Okay, I think I'll do it. All right. But he then has to he makes a bill, and every year there's about 1,500 bills that get proposed. There's a session. We have a session once a year, and it's about it's 60 days approximately. Okay. So you get your bill. You get you get you talk him into it. Okay. And so, so you, you get that done, and then he's got to he's got to he's got to have a group of people, and they'll look at the bill, and they'll have a smaller group rather than the entire house or the entire senate, and they'll 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 study the bill. So let's say you take your can, okay? So they'll say, okay, so how much is that going to? They think things like, what one is it good for everybody? Okay, I think the dentist would all like it, right? Because you might have a few more cavities, so it'd be good for dentists. Dentists would be out there saying, yes, pass that bill, right? Parents might not be as excited, okay? So he'll have different groups that have different groups that are you know pro and con to it, and then somebody will say, how much is it going to cost, right? All right, and then somebody here is going to have to pay for it, okay? So would you rather pay for more candy, or is there something else you'd rather pay for, right? Because it's going to be your or your parents' money, right? Okay. There might be something else, but okay. Let's say, let's say they'll study. Let's say they'll go through a uh, committee. Okay. Now, if you're gonna, if you, if you ever run, anybody gonna be run for office? Maybe you want to be president. Okay. Yeah. Why not? Somebody's gotta be president. Somebody here ought to be president. We haven't had a we haven't had a president I don't think, from Tampa, right? So we need, we need a president from Tampa, right? Yeah, and a female. That'd be good, right? So the uh, so. So, but the, you know, you could, if you were going to put together a group of people in the committee, would you pick people, would you try to pick people that, that agree with you or disagree with you? Yeah, you know, they might try to do that a little bit, okay? They might try to organize these committees to get people that are going to agree with them, but that's what happens. So let's say you get out of the committee, and then you get you get it to the floor. Okay, so then, then if you're the rep, here's what you got to do. If this was your, if this was, if you could have to turn around and you walk around and you say, I got to get half of these people to agree with me. Now the candy one is pretty good, but what if you said, okay, it's free candy, but you know what? Everybody's got to put in a dollar a day. So you try to keep that off. So here's what happens: some people try to put in a menu. Like, let's say you don't like candy. Okay, I know that's fun. You seem like you like candy, but if you didn't like it, you put it. You try to get the amendment. Okay, everybody, we're going to do that. I think that's a great bill, but we're going to put in. Everybody has to put in a dollar a day. That would be harder to pass, wouldn't it? Yeah, that'd be hard. That, they might put in amendments, okay? But then you'll vote. This your your state reps will vote, and let's say it passes. It's got to get a majority. So in the House, it's got to get 61 votes, and in the Senate, it's got to get 21 votes, and it passes. So it go, if it goes in one, then it goes to the other one, and they both have to pass. Okay? So it goes to um, if it passes in, in the House and, and both the Senate, then it goes to the governor. All right, and then I've got a choice. I can either sign it or not sign it. Okay, so the um, so I'll decide. I'll say, well, I don't know if candy is good for everybody. All right, and no one think about it. Now I know that everybody that likes candy is going to like me more if I signed it. And and what if it was on the somebody had to pay for it? They're not going to be as happy with it. All right, and then I have to think about, oh gosh, is this something good for all the citizens of the state? All right. So that's what you sort of if you're never the governor. You know, the governor's like me and uh, the president, but for a smaller area, just for a state. And I get, I have a choice. 
If I say, mm, I, don't, I don't like it, I can veto it. I can say, oh, I'm not going to do it. Then they can go back. If they can get a two-thirds majority in the House and the Senate, they can say, I don't care what the governor believes. We're going to pass it. Okay? So 